is going on, fellow gamers? It's your boy, Fo, and I'm coming at you with another video. This time, I'm going to be talking about my paintbrushes. I had people ask me what paintbrushes I use and how do you maintain them? Well, I use the Winsor Newton Series 7s. These are my favorite paintbrushes. Um, to me, it's these or nothing. I've tried Cotman's. I've tried Games Workshop brushes. I've tried Army Painter brushes. I've tried all types of other brushes. And the Winsor Newton Series 7s, for me, are my favorite paintbrush. And they're on the $15 to $20 mark. And if you buy a decent quality paintbrush, these things are going to last you. So it's worth the $20 plus dollars you're going to spend on a good paintbrush. The uh, point is finer. The uh, It's just a firmer feel. They're just You could tell the difference once you start using a good paintbrush right away. Well, what I do is in between paint pots, I rinse it in the water and I add a little bit of soap to the water. I go to the kitchen sink, I grab the Dawn, I put a little drop into the cup, and I add a little bit of soap to my water. And then when I take them out of the cup, I twist them onto a paper towel. I don't got a paper towel here handy, but that's the motion I do, and then I dip it into the next paint. Then when I'm done painting for the night, I go over to the sink, and I give the paintbrushes a proper wash. Now you don't gotta do this every session, but if you do this at least once or twice a week, it'll make a huge difference on how long your paintbrushes last. I do it after every painting session, cause that's, I want my paintbrushes to be as new as possible. As I, I, I maintain my brushes, it's very important. So I wash the handle, I take some hot water, I turn it on, I twist it in between my fingertips, then I take a little bit of shampoo, whatever shampoo you use, and I use Dove, and I take a little bit on the tip of the brush, rinse the rest off, and I give it a twist in my fingertips. And I let that soap get into the hairs of the brush, washing out any paint that might be left over behind. And then I twist it under the hot water in the same motion, make sure all the soap is out, because you don't want to leave any soap residue in the hairs of the brush. And then what I'm gonna do is I take a towel and I dry out the brush. I give it a couple of twists on there. I put the towel over it and I try and dry it out as best I can without messing up the point. Then I grab my other paintbrush. I do the same exact thing. I get the hot water, wet it up, wash off the handle, add the shampoo. Now remember, you don't wanna to put too much shampoo. I mean, that's even a lot of shampoo that I'm putting in my hand, but I have a pump, and that's just what's, what comes out in the one pump. Um, again, you just put a little shampoo on there. Um, conditioner is also good, so if you got like the mixed uh, shampoo and conditioner in one, that's pretty cool too. You could use that, and then just give it a rinse, twist it in between your fingertips. That's very important. You want to keep that point nice and fine. Then you put in the towel, wash it off, you're good to go. Now, storing your paintbrush when you're done washing them out, I like to save all the plastic tips that come with my paintbrushes. I save the tips. I also save the tubes that the paintbrushes come in. So what I do is I put it in there and then I rest it up against the cup. This way it dries upside down. It keeps the point night nice. Now, a lot of people say that storing them upside down doesn't make that much of a difference. I think it does because um, sometimes when you're drawing, drawing them laying on their side or standing upright, um, I've seen the points kind of curve at the end because like gravity kind of weighs them down a bit. So I like just to keep them pointing straight down. And if you don't want to put them up leaning up against a cup, what I do is I don't lean them up against a cup. I actually take them and I put them into the tubes that the paintbrushes came in. That's your best bet, in my opinion. You could stick them in, you know, in your in your paint racks, whatever, whatever you want to do. If you didn't save the tube, it's fine. As long as you, you save the little plastic nub, you could put the paintbrush in there. Now, I'm going to show you something where if you happen to not save the plastic tube, 
you didn't save the plastic nub. You're like, what am I going to do? Where am I going to store my paintbrush now? Since you're recommending to store them upside down. I got you covered. You take a little bit of fun tack and you stick it onto your lamp or wh wherever you want to put it. And I also take fun tack and I put it on top of my paint pots. And then I stick my models that I'm painting onto the fun tack and I use the paint pot as a handle to hold the miniature. This way I don't got my fingers greasing up the model, rubbing paint off, you know, totally destroying what I'm doing. Anyway, you stick the paintbrush handle into the fun tack, it hangs upside down, and you grab it when you're done, and you get ready to paint. What I got right here, I got a little sneak peek of the project I'm working on right now. I finally found the rest of my team sketched for Gaslands. If you go back a couple of videos, you're going to recognize I was working on these cars. I had a Batman, I had a Superman, and I had a Catwoman car. And I loved the paint scheme so much that I wanted to convert them without losing the paint scheme. Anyway, I finally found the Joker. I finally found the Harley Quinn. I'm super pumped about it. I'm working on those cars right now. So that video is coming out soon. Anyway, guys, keep your paintbrushes clean. I'll see you guys in the next video. Fantastic.